Guys, they said Olori Kalabash blasted Blow Blow big time over what Blow Blow said concerning uh, KBC not being responsible for her son. You know that from what we are hearing right now, they said uh, because of this singular act from Olori Kalabash, a lot of them have come for her, as in this Crown Prince thing, this and that. And again, the issue that uh, uh, we heard that Blow Blow wanted to go and uh, do her own. I don't know how they are doing it, but she wanted to kind of bring her own son, her own crown prince. And KBSC said no. They said she had been threatening that uh, if KBSC did not allow her have her way, that she is going to expose everything. So when the information got to Olori Kalabash, they said uh, she became so angry with uh, uh, Blow Blow because we all know that Olori Kalabash and Blow Blow, they are uh, sisters. Uh, I think they are cousins, I think, from the same La Fogede house. So <laughs> when this kind of thing comes out and it is between two sisters like this, you know that you get a CV. And this is why a lot of people are very much interested how sisters will expose themselves. Because uh, if all the information we're hearing about them is the truth, the two of them are in KBSC's life for uh, a reason, and I don't think it's a good one. Mm -hmm. And right now, it's beginning to look like they are going to start dragging position again, even though we all know that uh, Blow Blow is older than Olori Kalabash. But that one, the kind of pride, as in the kind of ego, pride, that is... Uh, uh, in her is too much mm -hmm. such that she doesn't even know her elder because it is expected that she is to respect Blow Blow very well as a big sister that got married to the same man with her. But why why is she going to respect her? Since Blow Blow did not respect herself by sharing the same bola with uh, uh, Olori Kalabash. You know, there is no respect in polygamy Yes, whether you are big sister or you are big this or big that, I don't think it matters at this point. So right now we are hearing that, um, I don't know how the information got to, uh, although she might have informants here and there, hearing that her own sister have threatened to expose her if KBSC did not allow Blow Blow have her own way. They said she, she called uh, Blow Blow and was like asking her what is that supposed to mean. That she saw the way she was dancing the day they were doing the naming ceremony. I don't know if you watched the video. Blow Blow was dancing. Igbi was dancing. Uh, although the TikTok was just doing her own. I don't know if it is fashion parade that she was doing that day. <laughs> so, and with the way these people are dancing, people will say, hey, the royal house, they are always in peace. They love themselves. This and that. They are happy. <laughs> that is the impression they like to create all the time. But in there is a war zone, seriously. So they said when uh, uh, Olori Kalabash called her, she was like, so after all the dance, after all the pretense, you still have the gut to speak uh, about her and her son in such manner. Isn't that a sign of uh, jealousy? That your level of jealousy as old as you are, you are still very jealous of her. So what are you expecting? That you can go ahead and say whatever that you want to say, but everybody knows, according to how, because me, I don't know, that uh, she is the one who carried her baby for nine months in her womb and all of that. But according to what we hear, if this information is true, we heard that Blow Blow said that KBAC is not the donor. And my question is, if KBSC is not, who is then? <laughs> because once you know, if you see these people, they know what they are doing. They have agents monitoring their uh, co-wives, every every move they make and all of that. So they said the kind of woto woto that is going on between Blow Blow and uh, Olori Kalabash right now, that it is not a small thing, that it has even gotten to the point that... Uh, the La Fogidi house have to involve themselves, you know, to settle for the two of them. 
And this is st stupidity if you ask me that two sisters, no matter what it is, you come and be opening your nash in the public. Because that is what it looks like. Then what do you think this other Oloris will say about them? And before you know it, they will open their mouth and start talking about their mission in the palace. Because it is obvious that they are in there for a mission and it's not a good one, like I said. Yes, they said uh, Olori Calabash told her that you are old cargo who does not respect herself. Old cargo full of jealousy that you think uh, 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 will allow you to uh, uh, do whatever you want to do. That you are just jealous because you can no longer conceive. They said it was a serious woto woto. And I was like, eh? No be smart, you know. <laughs> you see these two people, eh? My own is, let KBS freak with Naomi or send them back to their parents' house. Because with the kind of information we are hearing, you see that a lot of things are not pure there. A lot of things are not clear. There are a lot of explanations that they owe KBS. But are you sure KBS is ready to listen? Because right now, KBS is more focused on where is Queen Naomi, where is Queen Naomi. We are even hearing that he's not eating. He's not responding to... Uh, 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 he's not doing his normal daily activities. All because of Queen Naomi. And Queen Naomi, on the other hand, have made up her mind that this drama, it is going to end. Yes, this drama has to end. KBS will have to choose. Because there is no how she will involve Queen Naomi in all of this drama. And yet... He will pretend as if nothing is happening, even when he knows that Quenomi cannot coexist with these people. They are of different breed, as in they are different species of people. These ones, someone like uh, Olori Calabash, which is full of uh, competition, unnecessary, unhealthy competition, competing over, I don't even know what to say. Eh? Anyways, the thing is that... Um, KBSC need to ask them questions because they have something to tell KBSC, but KBSC might not have the time to listen. They need to open up. But one thing I do know is that, you see, all they say, I will say, I will talk, I will talk. One day now, God will push it out of their mouth and they will talk. But even if they talk, a lot of people have said that KBSC needs children. So wherever the children are coming from, KBSC will still accept them. And I am happy that they said the custodian of Odua Sacred Forest have made it clear that uh, uh, Olori Calabash's son is not a crown prince and can, don't, doesn't even uh, stand the opportunity of uh, contesting as a king in Ileife Kingdom in the future. Anyway, guys, like I will always remind you, these are all alleged information, okay? Always bear that in mind. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share my video. I love you guys. Bye. See you.